Hey, how's it going? Alright, so I've been trying to do this for a while. I've been trying to compare my old Marauder to my new Air Arms. Both of them are in 22 caliber. This is the, here you go, Benjamin 22 and my Air Arms 22. And basically what I just want to do is just compare them with accuracy right now. Maybe in uh, another video I'll go into depth into what you get out of the gun. But just to remind you, um, my Marauder is a $500 gun, which my Air Arm is a uh, $1,300 gun. And what you get, um, I would say just the main difference between both of them is build quality and accuracy. The Marauder was accurate when I first got it, and now it's just not as accurate. And it wasn't really accurate out of the box. My air arms, though, was very accurate out of the box. I didn't need to clean or anything. And it shoots, you know, it shoots amazing. Take a quick glance at this. Um, the Marauder came with the hardwood stock. The new version, of a better stock than the old one. Um, it's more slimmer, a little bit lighter, which I like. And an adjustable cheek piece, which is also a great feature. Everything else is the same, the trigger, the bolt, the action, the barrel, especially the same thing. They didn't improve anything with the new model, so if you're planning on getting a new Marauder um, 22, I would just say um, you basically just buy the same thing if you already had one. So if anything, just buy a 25, uh, I recommend that instead. And, you know, I'm going to be using a center point 416 by 40 scope, if I remember. Yeah, so it's AU adjustable and luminary radical. Um, my arms though has a beautiful walnut stock. You know, it has that that beautiful bluing um, air reservoir there. The beautiful end caps and adjustable power, which the rod does not have. It, you can adjust it, but it, it takes. It takes time, you know, messing around with the hammer and the spring. And I have a Hawk scope on it, a 6.5, 20, a 42 scope. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do an accuracy test. And let's see how each one performs. All right, so here we are in my backyard range, my garage. <laughs> And again, that target, it's at, what is it, 25 yards. You can't see it from here, but it's at 25 yards. Okay, zoom this out. And first, I'm going to do my, um, I'm going to do, I'm sorry. I'm going to shoot my Marauder um, using the, the rest. Um, all right, and same thing with my air arms. I'm going to use the, the, the gun rest with it because it's just more accurate that way too and we're gonna shoot these targets at 25 yards these cheap gamma targets which are great <laughs> and we're gonna try four pellets um, i'm gonna try the jsb 22 the barracuda um and crossman premier hollow points and the poly mags if I remember correctly, these were very accurate with my Marauder, and let's see if they still hold groups. And I'm gonna use a clip for the air arms. Still a pellet in there. Take that out. And I have the clip for the Marauder. I also have the single um, shot tray. I'm just gonna use it just for the Predator Polymax. Um, and yeah. And all right, let's do this. Um, let's the Marauder first using Crossman Premier Hollow Points. Now let's do uh, let's do JSB heavies. Let's do the Barracuda match. 
pellets. That's just horrible. Goodness. Alright, so last one. So let's do the pair of polymaths. But this is the last pellet for the mod. Alright, that was by far the best group with the Marauder using the polymags. So now let's switch with their with their air arms. Let's see what we can do with that. Same pellets, same order, just a different gun. Alright, let's do the air arms now with the Crossman Premier Hollow Point. So it wasn't that better. But then now let's try the JSB heavies now. Okay, it's getting dark. Still do this. All right, Barracuda match. Look at that beautiful group right there. Lastly, let's do the polymaths. This is the last pellet of the day right here. That's it right there. Right now with the end results the marauder first okay and i'm going to use the dime just to so you can see a comparison of the groups right here so this was the first pellet of the crossman premier hollow points very big group not that good considering it's just 25 yards and here we have the jsb it was the same size as the Crossman Premier Hollow Points. Not really uh, any difference. Oh man, look at these. This was a Barracuda match. They had like one, two, three, four, and the fifth pillar hit low. It didn't even hit the, the target. And look at this one. Looks like this um, pellet hit sideways for some reason. I gotta see what's going on. Maybe I'm gonna try shooting the gun without the shroud and the baffle to see if there's any difference. But I mean, even that, like, look at this. Basically, a dime size group at 25 yards with the polymags out of the Marauder. So I, I don't really think that's the problem. I, I just think it's the barrel. It just, it likes certain pellets. So maybe there are more pellets that are more accurate out of the Marauder. But from the four I tried, only one were good. And the rest that you would probably expect were good um, weren't. But now let's go with the uh, with my air arms. Okay. Again, use the dime. The premier hollow points. They weren't that good either. More, a little bit better than the than the, the Marauder, but not by much either. Too. And here we have the JSB right here. These were a uh, big difference right here. Half the size of the dime. Could have done better, but kind of did shot the, the gun kind of fast. And here we have the Barracuda match. 
Look at that. Almost pellet on pellet right here. And here we have the polymags. Almost basically the same thing. But a little bit better than but a little bit better on the on the marauder. Let me go side by side. Not that different. Polymags. The Barracuda match, yeah, big difference. It's a, about three inch, three and a half inch spread. Useless. Their arms way better. And here the JSBs. Again, big difference. Lastly, well, how we started the uh, Premier Hollow Points. Like I said, a little better on the RA arms, but not by much. All right. All right. So obviously the my air arms won this round. Um, the Marauder just it just didn't it didn't perform well compared next to it. Um, you know, and that's that's basically what you expect from a higher end gun. You know, like I said, it's a cheaper gun. Don't expect much from it. A higher end gun, expect a lot from it. You know, you want to get what you pay for, right? Uh, I mean, not to say the Marauder is a bad gun. Um, it's just you really can't expect a lot from a cheaper gun. And again, I don't have a good Marauder, um, so maybe if I had a different Marauder. Uh, it may compete with this air arms, but uh, even so, you know, when, even if you have a good Marauder, I don't think um, it can really compete with my with an air arms or any higher end gun. Because when I first had the Marauder, it was it was just it used to shoot great, you know. Compared to shooting brake barrels, uh, it was a big huge upgrade. Um, but out of the box when I remember it never shot even close to the air arms so again you know the decision is yours if you want to get a good PCP you know you could go with the Marauder or somewhere around the same price range but expect um, if you when you pay more than thousand um, dollars you're gonna get almost the results um, that I got with my air arms or even better, you know. Again, I'm not the, I'm not the best shooter out there, but I do try my best when I when I do these tests. All right, for the next video, um, I'll see what I can come up with. But till then, um, take care and thank you for watching.